एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल गो फॉर एग्रीकल्चर इस लेक्चर में हम पढ़ने वाले हैं लीगल कंट्रोल मेथड्स ऑफ पेस्ट मैनेजमेंट चलो अब शुरू करते हैं क्या है लीगल मेथड्स इट मींस दे आर प्रिवेंटिंग द एंट्री एंड एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ फॉरेन प्लांट एंड एनिमल पेस्ट इन अ कंट्री और एरिया एंड इराडिकेशन और सप्रेशन ऑफ द पेस्ट एस्टैब्लिश इन अ लिमिटेड एरिया थ्रू कंपल्सरी लेजिस्लेशन और एंटैकमेंट इसका मतलब है मान लो एक्सीडेंटली अगर कोई पेस्ट हमारे कंट्री में इंट्रोड्यूस हो जाता तो हमारे पास लॉस है मतलब स्ट्रिक्ट रूल्स है उसे रोकने के लिए सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ रूल्स व्हाट वील डू वील जस्ट ऑब्जर्व व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पेस्ट इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड है ना लाइक वी कैन नो पेस्ट कैसे इंट्रोड्यूस हुआ है कहाँ से आया है और अगर रिलीज किया गया तो किस तरह का डिसीज कॉज करता है सो so, अगर ये साबित हुआ कि ये इंसर्ट अच्छा है मतलब इट वोंट कॉज एनी काइंड ऑफ डिसीजेस तो क्या होगा फिर हम उसे एलो कर देते हैं कंट्री में अगर वो हार्मफुल साबित हुआ है ना तो हम उसे डिस्ट्रॉय कर देते हैं सो दिस इज द रोल ऑफ द रजिस्लेशन इट विल टेल अस टू डू व्हाट इज राइट एंड व्हाट इज रॉन्ग दैट इज इट विल टेल अस टू डू एदर वी शुड एलो द पेस्ट और वी शुड नॉट एलो द पेस्ट सो दिस इज द रोल ऑफ द रजिस्लेशन मतलब दिस इज द रोल ऑफ द स्ट्रिक्ट रूल्स इन द कंट्री नेक्स्ट इज अब हम उन पेस्ट को बारे में देखेंगे जो गलती से इंडिया में इंट्रोड्यूस हुए हैं सो फर्स्ट इज पिंक बॉल वॉम पेक्टिनोफोरा गोसिपीला सो दिस इज अ साइंटिफिक नेम पेक्टिनोफोरा गोसिपीला दिस वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम एशिया कॉटन क्वेश्चन स्केल आइसरा पचेजी फ्राम ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड वूली एफिड ऑफ एपल एरियोसोमा लैनिगेरम फ्रॉम चाइना बट दिस वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस इन एटीन सेंचुरी सैंजो स्केल क्वाड्रसाइडियोटस पेरिनीसियोसिस दिस वॉज फ्रॉम चाइना एंड पोटैटो ट्यूबर मॉथ नॉरिमो स्कीमा ओपेरक्यूलेला फ्रॉम इटली एंड सिस्ट और गोल्डन नेमोटोड ऑफ पोटैटो ग्लोबोदरा स्पीशीज फ्राम साउथ अमेरिका जेंट एफ्रीकन स्नेल एकेटिना फ्यूलिका फ्राम केन्या नेक्स्ट इज सुबाबल सिलिट हेटीरोप्सिला क्यूबाना फ्राम इटली बंशीट ऑफ डिसीज ऑफ बनाना फ्राम ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड स्पायरलिंग वाइट फ्लाई इट्स एलिरोडाइकस डिस्पर्स फ्राम सेंट्रल अमेरिका सो यू कैन जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस स्लाइड लेटर ओके सो दिज आर द पेस्ट विच आर एक्सीडेंटली इंट्रोड्यूज इन टू इंडिया सो नेक्स्ट वील सी वॉट आर द मेथड्स ऑफ द लीगल कंट्रोल सो द मेन मेथड इज क्वारंटीन सो क्वारंटीन का मतलब है आइसोलेशन टू प्रिवेंट द स्प्रेडिंग ऑफ इन्फेक्शन सो इसका मतलब है पेस्ट को हमें आइसोलेशन में रखना पड़ेगा टू अवॉइड द स्प्रेड ऑफ इन्फेक्शन नॉट ओनली पेस्ट बट ऑल्सो द प्लान मेटीरियल लाइक लाइक वी ऑल नो यू नो लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर टू कंट्रीज इंडिया एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया ओके सो द ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज प्रोवाइडिंग सम सॉर्ट ऑफ सीड्स टू इंडिया सो वट इंडिया विल डू फॉर फॉर द सेक ऑफ द कंट्री इंडिया विल कीप दो सीड्स इन द क्वारंटीन and it will observe are there any kind of pest in the seed so so if there are no pest so it will just release the seed into the country if there are pest it will destroy it so this is the main thing of the quarantine so so like for example hum hame pata hai ki is is covid situation mein insan isolated reh rahe hain taki infection spread na ho ya pe what is the main motto of quarantine means to to stop this in spread of infection yes ye to stop the spread of infection is the main motto of the quarantine theek okay? hai and the next type of quarantine is planned quarantine isme legal restrictions hai between the countries like for example just think in australia there is a problem of woolly aphid of uh, sugarcane theek okay? hai so will the australia send its sugarcane to the other countries it will no or will the other countries take those sugar canes to them no it won't it means there are some legal restrictions of what to send and what not to send not only between the countries but also between the states so this is the planned quarantine okay so like so if the country wants to send an a new variety like like for example ag- agar koi new variety hai plant ki wo jo native Aust- australia ki hai ठीक है तो वो जो नया प्लान है इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं इंडिया में तो लीगल रेस्ट्रिक्शंस तो होगी ना इंडिया में जैसे द ऑस्ट्रेलिया इट हैव टू प्रोवाइड द प्रूफ लाइक स्टेटिंग दैट 
जो प्लान है उस उसमें कोई पेस्ट नहीं है इट मीन्स द द प्लान इज क्लीन सो सो द ऑस्ट्रेलिया शुड प्रोवाइड इज द प्रूफ दैट देर इज नो पेस्ट इन दिस प्लान सो यू कैन हैप्पीली टेक इट इफ इट वॉन्ट्स टू डू सम यू नो एक्सचेंज ऑफ द प्लान मटीरियल बिटवीन द कंट्रीज then in that case they should provide the proof but basically there are some legal restrictions between the countries okay so this is the plant quarantine next is pest legislations so kuch acts pass hue the jaise 1905 mein federal insect pest act so this was the first quarantine act against sanjo scale next in 1912 us plant quarantine act was passed in 1914 destructive insects and pest act of india In 1919, Madras Agricultural Pest and Disease Act. In 1968, the Insecticides Acts were passed. So, so the main objective of this passed. Sorry. So, so the main ob- objectives of this acts were, no foreign pest introduced na ho. Okay. So, if you see the acts names, Plant Quarantine, Destructive Insects and Pest, Madras Agricultural Pest and Diseases Act, Insecticides Act. So, the name itself says that. there should be no spread of the foreign material into the country okay so next if we see what are the different classes in the quarantine so basically there are two classes foreign quarantine and domestic quarantine so so foreign quarantine means this is the rule to prevent the introduction of new pest or diseases and waste from foreign countries like for example hamare paas kuch laws hai matlab rules hai taki hum pest introduction ko rok sake अगर कोई पेस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस हुए हैं तो वो पेस्ट को क्वारंटीन करते हैं तो इसे हमें फॉरेन क्वारंटीन कहते हैं ओके सो एंड ऑल्सो इन द इन एंड ऑल्सो इन द फॉरेन क्वारंटीन देर आर सम प्लांट इंस्पेक्शन साइट्स लाइक इट द सी पोर्ट्स दे आर देर एंड एट द एयरपोर्ट्स सो इन सी पोर्ट्स लाइक मुंबई कोलकाता कोचिन चेन्नई एंड विशाखापट्टनम एंड इन एयरपोर्ट्स लाइक अमृतसर मुंबई कोलकाता चेन्नई न्यू डेली Uh, so so if the new plant are introducing through the sea route so these inspections they literally check are there any pests were traveling along with the plants and if the new plants were traveling through the air route or or to the airport so they will do the inspection whether this plant has pest or not so this is the main motto of the foreign quarantine and the next is some of the rules so so there are some rules to import the plant materials like uh, koi bhi plant material hai jaise seed hai theek hai so jo wo so so these are not allowed into the countries only scientist can send them like for example australia and india okay so the australian scientist only can send their seeds into the india but not the other people and and the same only the indian scientist can send the seeds to australia not the other people even if they want to send they should provide a proof that will call a certificate phytosanitary certificate it means yeah it's okay i'll tell you in the next cup upcoming slides what is phytosanitary certificate okay only scientists can provide the seeds to the other countries not only seeds all the plant materials and the next is maximum the plant materials are not allowed to be um, exchanged between the countries because they are of the legal restrictions will be there okay so so as i've told you phytosanitary certificate should be given before in introducing the new plant material into the other country so the phytosanitary certificate means so psc jo hai wo ek report hai matlab matlab report ke tarah hai aur wo report क्या कहती है कि प्लांट मटेरियल जो हम बेच रहे हैं उसे पेस्ट नहीं है इट मीन्स इट्स लिटरली क्लियर फ्रॉम ऑल द पेस्ट सो अगर कोई कंट्री एक प्लान को इंट्रोड्यूस कर रही है इंडिया में तो वो हमें फाइटोसैनिटरी सर्टिफिकेट दिखाती है ताकि हम उस प्लान को अलो कर सकते हैं सो इफ अ कंट्री इज गिविंग यू फाइटो सैनिटरी सर्टिफिकेट स्टेटिंग दैट द प्लान वी आर गिविंग यू इट्स कम्प्लीटली सेफ इन देर आर नो पेस्ट सो सो इट मीन्स you can literally allow that uh, plant to use it in our country so this is phytoplanetary certificate so wo plant material india mein hone ke baad hum kuch precautions bhi le sakte hai jaise fumigation 
सो फ्यूमिगेशन का मतलब है हम एक रूम को गैशवस पेस्टिसाइड से भर देंगे और वो उस मटेरियल को उस रूम में रख देंगे सो दैट दिस विल बिकम लाइक अ स्टेरिलाइजेशन लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज एनी पेस्ट एक्सीडेंटली केम इन टू द प्लान मटीरियल वाइल ट्रांसपोर्टिंग इट फ्रॉम ऑस्ट्रेलिया टू इंडिया सो क्या होगा इफ इफ वी डोंट नो सो सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वी शुड टेक सम प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स लाइक इफ वी डू द फ्यूमिगेशन टू द प्लान मटीरियल सो ऑल द पेस्ट विल बी डेड सो वी कैन यूज दैट प्लान सो दिस इज फ्यूमिगेशन नेक्स्ट इज हम हम उस प्लान मटीरियल को क्वारंटीन भी कर सकते हैं either we can do the fumigation or or we can literally quarantine that plant material so this is about foreign quarantine next is yeah so so the next we will see restrictions imposed on the importation importation ka matlab hai import karna theek hai so first is sugarcane seeds so the sugarcane seeds they were literally banned to import because to prevent the west indies sugar weevil so this is a major pest which which really affects the sugar cane that's why these kind of sugar cane seeds they were banned to import or export next is coffee seeds to prevent the coffee berry borer next is cotton seeds to prevent the cotton boll weevil so so these three crops they were prevented to import that is they were prevented to exchange between the countries just to stop these pests that is west indies sugar weevil coffee berry borer cotton boll weevil and also export of sugar cane sorry export of pepper cardamom and tamarind were also restricted whereas in 1946 directorate of plant protection quarantine storage and government of india established for inspection of export and import of agricultural commodities next is domestic quarantine सो डोमेस्टिक क्वारंटी का मतलब है अगर सीड्स एक स्टेट से दूसरा स्टेट जा रहे हैं तभी उसको क्वारंटीन करते हैं तभी इन्फेक्शन स्प्रेड ना हो सो इफ वी डू द एक्सचेंज बिटवीन द स्टेट्स एंड स्टेट्स इवन दो इफ वी डू द क्वारंटीन दिस कॉल इज डोमेस्टिक क्वारंटीन वेर एज फॉरिन क्वारंटीन इन यर द प्लान एवर एक्सचेंज बिटवीन द कंट्रीज डिफरेंट कंट्रीज इवन दो विल कीप इन क्वारंटीन if they are exchange between just the states in a country even though we'll keep in quarantine so this type of quarantine is called as domestic quarantine so like for example fluted scale icera puchesi it is noticed in nilgiris and kodaikanal in 1943 in in wattle trees so these pests they are noticed in nilgiris and kodaikanal so the quarantine stations what they did is so so the quarantine stations at Mettupalayam and Gudalur for for Nilgiris, and Shen and Shenbaganur for Kodaikanal to to prevent the spread of fluted scale in Tamil Nadu. So, so so to prevent the uh, spread of this infection, they have literally quarantined the Mettupalayam and Gudalur in in the Nilgiris area, and the Shenbaganur in Kodaikanal. So if they quarantine, so so what happens? So the export and import won't be between those places. so the spread of this infection will be stopped and also preventing the movement of banana from palani hills to prevent the bunchy top spread so this type of quarantine between the uh, states to states is called as domestic quarantine so so we all know yes and the next is legislation to take up effective measures to prevent the spread of established pest so first we'll see stem weevil of cotton so to prevent the stem weevil of cotton there are some rules for the farmers like we can say so the first rule is the previous crop should be removed before august 1st so if there is a previous crop while we are sowing so what happens there is a chance of the new crop will also get infested or the infected with the same pest so that's why we should remove the previous crop before the august 1st next is next crop to be sown not before september 1st because september 1st can be the re- really a favorable time for the stem weevil of cotton that's why the next crop should not be sown before the september 1st so to keep land free of cotton for some time so if we keep the land free what happens there will be no host for the stem weevil if there is no host it will die next is rhc of groundnut right hairy caterpillar of groundnut 
so collection of pupae in summer ploughing so when we do the summer ploughing we can see the pupae in the soil itself so we can just collect them and remove them next is putting light traps and bonfires next is hand picking of egg and larvae spread leaves in field trench collect and destroy so when you spread the uh, leaves in the field so what happens these hairy caterpillars they start moving on them so so when you see them moving you can just uh, collect all the waste and you can literally destroy it so this is for the effective measures to prevent the red hairy caterpillar of groundnut next is stem borer of coffee so in this act this act so this act is still in force in Sa Salem, Coimbatore, Madurai and Nilgiris. It means all the infested plants they should be removed and they should be destroyed by 15th December every year. And also they should do the swabbing with the vegetable powder on stem and branch. So these two measures were still in force in Salem, Coimbatore, Madurai and Nilgiris. So these are the, some of the pre preventive measures to prevent the spread of red hairy caterpillar stem reveal cotton and stem borer of coffee so next we'll see the insecticides act so we know not only the pest some insecticides they also uh, allow between the countries like kuch insecticides ko allow karne par bhi restrictions hai kyunki insecticides jo hai wo harmful hai environment humans or animals ke liye jaise manufacture storage transport सेल और डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन पे समय प्रिकॉशन लेनी चाहिए और हमारे पास लॉस है इंसेक्टिसाइड्स और सेफ्टी इंश्योर करने के लिए लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल द इंसेक्टिसाइड्स एक्ट व्हिच वाज पास्ड इन 1968 सो दिस इज इंप्लीमेंटेड इन 1971 आई मीन द इंसेक्टिसाइड्स रूल्स वर इंप्लीमेंटेड इन 1971 सो दिस एक्ट इज अ सेफ्टी ओरिएंटेड लेजिस्लेशन दिस हैज टू मेक श्योर दैट द the insecticides which were importing or exporting they should be taken a really precautions and also it it regulates import manufacture storage transport sale distribution and use of insecticides with the point of view to prevent risk to human beings and animals and also this act it was literally enforced by the central and state governments and also there are some statutory bodies like CIB Central Insecticides Board so is board mein there will be 28 members aur ek chairman bhi hai ye hai director general of health services dusra hai registration committee isme five members will be isme chairman hai deputy director general crop sciences icar theek hai aur next hai, what are the salient features of insecticides act so CIB hai so so the restrictions is compulsory at CIB. Agar CIB allow kar dege, tabhi hum next level mein move kar paonge. Thik hai? Like if you want to, like, like you manufacture the insecticides and, and if you want to sell them, distribute them, so the, uh, so, so the permission of CIB is important. And manufacture karne ke liye state or central level ka permission bhi chahiye. License ke liye. It means the state and the central government they should give you the license to do the manufacturing of the insecticides. And the most important thing is the internal departmental coordination achieved by high level advertisory board, its central insecticide board within 28 members from various fields. Or those RC to look after the registration aspects of insecticides. And also the most this is the most important, the expired stocks jo hai, wo वो अलाउड नहीं है इंपोर्ट और सेल करने के लिए और अगर कोई ऐसा करते हैं ना लाइक इंपोर्ट और सेल सॉरी सेलिंग देम और डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग देम तो उन्हें पनिशमेंट भी मिलेगा ठीक है सो 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 दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट दे शुड नॉट इंपोर्ट मैन्युफैक्चर और सेल द इंसेक्टिसाइड विच आर एक्सपायर्ड so these are, these are the silent features of the insecticides role of plant quarantine in the export of agricultural commodities so in this international plant protection convention it plays an important role so in the so in the international plant protection convention article 5 mein wo kehta hai ki phytosanitary certificate jo hai use issue karna compulsory hai jab bhi bhi koi plant import hota hai kisi country mein to uska psc check hona chahiye this is most important and also agricultural commodities should be exported 
and also they should be accompanied by PSC. When you are exporting the plant to other countries, along with it, the PSC should be sent to the country to which you are exporting. Next is general requirement of PSC. So the first is plan to import horai. It should be free from the pest. Of course, it should be free from the pest. And inspection ke liye plan quarantine authorities ke help leni chahiye. So these two are the general requirements of PSC. Plan phytosanitary certificate. And the next are special requirements for phytosanitary certificate are additional declarations required from importing country for freedom of commodities from specific disease or uh, pest. So, so like for example, if you are sending a plan from Australia to India, so the India, it should give you the specific permissions to send the plant to that particular country. And also, Australia should get all the information regarding the India. So, these two are the special requirements for PSC. Next is procedure for getting the PSC. So, the first is when you want like if you want to send the seed to the other country first of all you should submit that seed to plant quarantine and fumigation station so so what do these two things will do is they will literally examine your seed like are there any pest or diseases or weeds in your seed if they find any kind of pest or diseases they will they won't issue the phytosanitary certificate so so instead what they will do is if they found the seeds as infested or infected with the disease, they will fumigate the seed. Then only they will give you the PSC certificate. So, so this is the procedure for getting the PSC. And the next, uh, what are the foreign pests from which India is free? So, the first is Mediterranean fruit fly. It's Ceratitis capitata. And the next is grapevine phylloxera. Cotton worm weevil, it's an Anthonomos grandis, and codling moth of apple, it's Las Persia pomonella. So these are the pests, foreign pests from which India is completely free due to the legislations in our country. So this is it, guys, for today. So so in this lecture, we have seen the legal control methods of pest management. So thank you for watching. If you have any queries, you can just go back to the lecture and watch again. And, and you have any queries you can post in the comment section or you can ask us in the Instagram page. And also you can download this PPT from our Telegram channel Go for Agriculture. So till then, take care, stay tuned. Bye bye.